Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the formation of ionic compounds using EDOT structures. It's... Welcome back. It's time to jump on into that monitor. Cue the Metroid door noise. Alright, what's up guys? Let's do some EDOT structures. Alright, so I'm going to start with this first example here with sodium and chlorine. So if I look up sodium on the periodic table, I can see that it is in group 1, which means it has one valence electron. And then for chlorine, it's in group 7, so it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 valence electrons. And as you can see here, chlorine has one open spot to receive a new electron, and sodium just happens to have one to give up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an arrow to show that sodium gives up that one electron directly to chlorine. Sodium is now happy because it's given up its one electron. Chlorine is now happy because it now has eight total valence electrons. So we are done, and our formula, since there's one sodium, one chlorine, the formula is NaCl. All right, here's our next example. Calcium is in group two on the periodic table, so it has two valence electrons. Sulfur is in group six, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. So sulfur has two open spaces. Calcium has two electrons to give up, so this one's also pretty simple. So we just kind of come right on over like so. Calcium is now happy because it's given up its two electrons. Sulfur is now happy because it now has eight valence electrons. So once again, we have a one-to-one -one ratio, and our formula is CaS, one of each. All right, next one up here is sodium and nitrogen. So same as before, sodium has one valence electron. Nitrogen is in group five, so it has one, two, three, four, five dots there. So nitrogen here then, since it only has five valence electrons, it wants three more, right? It's got three open spaces. Well, so the one sodium uh, electron here can donate one, and now sodium's happy, but nitrogen is not. So what do we do? We bring in another sodium with its one valence electron, and we bring that on over there. Now sodium again is happy, but nitrogen still isn't because it's not completely full. So we bring in a third sodium and bring that on up like so. And so now nitrogen is happy because it's got eight valence electrons. All three sodiums are happy because they've all given up their one valence electron. And as you can see, since we have three sodiums and one nitrogen, our formula is Na3N. All right, one more example. Aluminum here has three valence electrons because it is in group three on the periodic table. Oxygen is in group six, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. So oxygen has two open spaces. So aluminum here is going to give up those two, or give up two electrons to oxygen right there. But aluminum still has one more electron to give up. So what do we do? We bring in a second oxygen with its six valence electrons. And so now aluminum is able to happily give up its one electron there. But now this new oxygen isn't happy because it's only got seven uh, electrons. So we're going to bring in a second aluminum with its three dots. All right, so it's able to give up that one electron right there. So oxygen is now happy, but aluminum is not happy. So I'm going to bring in another oxygen. So one, two, three, four, whoops, five, six, with two open spaces. And as luck would have it, this aluminum has two electrons to give up, like so. And so we have two aluminums, three oxygens, and our formula is Al2O3. All right, so the thing to keep in mind when you are drawing these structures is that it's really just a, a puzzle, right? You're just trying to figure out how many electrons can go where, and you just keep adding in other atoms until everyone is satisfied, and it's really quite simple. And that's how it's done. 
Well, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you have any further questions, just comment below. And if this is your first time watching, please hit that subscribe button and join us on this adventure. Remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later. I'm heading down the road, just doing well, please.